Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another stage of this Etoile de Bessage race where today we are going to race two stages that is right because tomorrow we have another episode of the Pro Cyclist mode with João Maida today I'm going to do stage number two and stage number three so yeah it's going to be very cool as you can see right here stage number two it is a stage for the sprinters much better than yesterday's stage where it, we don't have any climb at the end so yeah of course Pedersen is going to be our sprinter if it is a good day but we have Pascal Ackerman here Giacomo Nizzolo so yeah it's going to be a good fight for to see who is the winner of the stage so yeah let's go into the stage and here we are start of the stage and as you can see we have Mats Pedersen with a minus one day which is not good of course Edward Tunes with a plus one so who knows maybe Edward Tunes could be the leader of today I don't know yet and Boca Molema with a minus four as well as Nibali with a minus one and don't forget we lost some time on the on the and don't forget we lost some time on yesterday's stage because Molema and Nibali are 43 seconds down right now as well as all of the other guys so yeah it's going to be crucial time for the time trial we need to be careful with that but yeah but today I don't think I'm not I'm not going to put anyone in the breakaway I could fight for some KOM points with Alex Kirsch but I'm not going to do it really so let's just go into the sprint and see if we can get a win and so guys since there are just three guys in the breakaway we have some points available so like I said in the beginning I wouldn't do it but since we are in the peloton with him let's go with Alex Kirsch for some points of the the mountains jersey and yep let's see what can we do here of course now we score points which is awesome but we are very far behind I'm not even on the list here ah yes I am fourth place so yeah we are just 12 points against the 24 of the leader so I mean it's not going to be easy but scoring points like this is always good so yeah and a big fall just happened on the peloton inside the last 10 kilometers of the stage but uh, thankfully they are behind let's just see I think it is Geraint Thomas, Egan Berna oh my god Tim Wellen, John Dengekov yeah a lot of guys have just fallen some big guys but let's focus now here up front on the race and Nibali is behind right now come on Nibali to the front please and I'm all all over the place I'm not doing this right let's try now last five kilometers let's use the energy gel Ryan Mullen at 99 really come on Nibali come on enter please I need you in but yeah we are already on the last few kilometers of the stage let's start the sprint with Alex Kirsch now Matt Pedersen of course Edward Tunes is going to be the leader let's go now with Pedersen last kilometer Edward Tunes will start the sprint Edward Tunes does not have energy left and Edward Tunes is going to be beaten on sprint Oliver Nassen is the winner of the stage ahead of Brian Cockard and then Evan Popel and my guys are getting out of energy very soon really so we are not doing a fantastic job on the sprints really Edward Tunes just on a 8th position right now and the Mets Pedersen on his 17th so not good at all and Nibali behind once again so maybe he's going to lose time we'll see and so guys let's see the time gaps that happen on the stage and as you can see we have here 43 seconds and let's see if Nibali is here and yes Nibali lost another 43 seconds on this stage so I believe he's out of the of the GC really right now and we have to focus on Boca Molima and let's go down and 1 minute 49 so this is the, the group that uh, crashed in the end, I believe. So, at all, Bosanagan, who we have here more. I think we have here Garen Thomas and, uh, and Egan Bernal. If I'm not mistaken, let's just take a quick look. I'm not seeing them. But here it is Egan Bernal and Garen Thomas behind 1 minute 49, as well as John Dengenkov and Tim Wellens. But these two guys are the main guys, really. So. Let's see the general classification right now. Laporte, of course, still in first. Pedersen now on a fifth position and Edward Tunes on the seventh position. Boca Molema now on the 19th position, but still 43 seconds down. And of course, we go down 1 minute 26. Vicente on Nibali. And uh, more down, of course. 
as you can see here 2 minutes 32 seconds it is Grant Thomas and Bernal it seems and so yeah Grant Thomas now more than 2 minutes behind on the general classification and uh, of course uh, it's not for him right now I believe I don't think he can do it on that final time trial as well as Egan Bernal so a big loss for Ineos team those that were the favorites so yeah it's a big surprise on stage number two and so here we go now for stage number three another flat stage with some KOM points so we might try those KOM points with Alex Kirsch if the opportunity arrives if not there is okay of course let's focus on the sprint with Pedersen or Edward Tunes and so guys here we are start of stage number three and uh, we are already here on a KOM sprint and as you can see I have Vitento on Nibali on the breakaway of course because since he's so far behind 1 minute 26 seconds why not go for the KOM jersey with him because with him we know that we have chances to win this because of course and we have a plus one as well with him so let's try and do that and uh, yeah let's see if we can get the maximum points on this stage and if we can get closer on this classification and so the attack in the breakaway had just started Kron from local slot so that attack but Nibali responded with that very easily let's go now I stopped I don't know why I stopped but and oh my god I'm going to lose this really oh my god I'm so dumb and yep I lost the first position on this KOM sprint because of stupidity really because I couldn't go I could have gone all the way and I didn't don't know why damn it and uh, before you ask I'm not going with Alex Kirsch for the KOM points right now because I cannot get him in the breakaway he's at 15 position 10 seconds down they are not letting me go into the breakaway the peloton so Nibali has some room to go to the breakaway therefore that's why I'm going with him and because he's a very good rider for this so yeah that's what am I doing this and so here we are for the next KOM sprint and we have more company with us right now the likes of Tim Wellens are here on the breakaway so yeah it's going to be a bit more difficult now with the uh, Wellens here but let's try of course and now they start attacking Nibali it's a bit late to respond let's see if we can catch them come on Nibali we, we need to win this one come on Nibali sprinting alongside Tim Wellens but he's getting behind come on Nibali come on they don't stop sprinting really and we are going to be third place I cannot believe it my god let's just take a look and yes we were third so 10 points for us my god what is this Nibali come on and so here we are for the last KOM sprint of the stage right now on this time I'm putting a rhythm with Vicenzo Nibali to see if I can just uh, put a effort on the breakaway so that they cannot follow me hopefully but yeah let's go now Nibali this one let me win it please and the attacks are starting let's go it sends on Nibali one kilometer to go is attacking Van Roy is at my will let's see he's not catching me but look out Wellens it's behind me but this time nobody can catch Nibali and we get the maximum point so now we are in fourth position with 30 points and Kenneth Van Roy in first with 38 and so guys here we are already inside the last 15 kilometers of the stage and we just have one guy up front 42 seconds ahead of us right once again I'm going with Edward Tunes because he has better stats than uh, Pedersen non I don't know if he's going to hang on or not but let's see and I'm just getting caught in the middle of the bunch now because we have a intermediate sprint right ahead of us but I'm not going to sprint to not lose energy really I don't want to lose energy I just want maximum energy for the last sprint and uh, this intermediate sprint right here is not good of course but yeah let's go with Ryan Mullen putting a pace and see if we can finally win a sprint and here we are for the last 5 kilometers of the stage let's push a little bit more with Ryan Mullen right now let's use the energy gel on everybody come on boys 99 now with Ryan Mullen because we are reaching the final bit of the stage come on now Alex Kirsch He's launching the sprint, Pedersen is a bit behind as well as Edward Tunes. But now launching with Pedersen, Edward Tunes is so way behind, let's start the sprint and it's getting blocked. 
damn it, what is this? Come on, Tunes, can we win and still? Oh my god. Let's go, Edward Tunes with a fantastic win. In the end, he catch up the other guys from behind. What a sprint, let's go. And so guys, finally we have a stage win here on Etoile de Bessage. Edward Tunes is the winner. A great sprint, a great last kilometer really. We, we were blocked, but in the end, we got the win with a great sprint, just uh, what what a sprint by Tunes really. And now we are on third position with Tunes. Oliver Nathan is the new leader on the best climber classification. We already know Kenneth Van Roy is the, the leader. It sent on Nibali on a fourth position, so Nibali is going to fight for this jersey for sure. On the points classification, Oliver Nasten is the first right now, one point ahead of Pascal Ackerman and now Edward Tunes is entering the fight as well at a fourth position with 42 points. The young rider classification is for Philippe Pugana right now, so he, is, he has a great advantage because we have the time throughout, don't forget about that. And yep, he's the leader right now. And on teams, we are the leaders on teams, Trek Segafredo, once again we are still the leaders, EF Education Nippo. Is the second one 33 seconds down so yeah we have this classification the teams but as I said in the in the last uh, video we want more than this and so guys this is it those were the stages for today stage 2 and number 3 are done so yeah next it will be on Saturday stage number 4 and let's just take a quick look on the profile and it is a hilly stage it finishes uphill so Maybe this one can be for Pedersen or for or for Molema, who knows? But yeah, this is for Saturday. From now this is it. Don't forget leave a like and a subscribe to see more of this race simulation. And don't forget as well tomorrow another episode of the Pro Cyclist Mode with Joe Almeida. It's the beginning of Love Welter, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay safe. Bye bye.